We're here today with Welsh International Dalton Grant, how are we? Very good, very good after that win. Um, it was a hard game but it's good to get the two points and uh, we're top of the table so we're buzzing. How was the heat today? Very, very hot. As you look, i got the water there. Um, I think some people got some uh, suntans. That factor 50 didn't really help. A couple of people, you know, I felt sorry for quite a lot of the redheads, the ginger boys, but um, it was, yeah, it was a hot day. Uh, what was it like? Uh, what had, um, if you might know, what's uh, James Lillick for it done? Oh, I don't know. Uh, you have to ask Juki. No comment on Leif, uh, James? No, no comment. Yeah, we don't know, but hopefully he's okay. Uh, now, um, what do you think we can improve on? Um, I don't know, maybe Emma getting like, colder water when we're in the change rooms. Um, she sometimes brings fruit and veg and stuff and is rotten. But to be honest, I think the team done well. I think if we play like that, we've got Greg back now um, in full back. So we've got a strong team and I think um, we're going to go on ahead and uh, kick on and, and hopefully beat York and, and then um, finish off the season top. Uh, now, you just mentioned York. How uh, big of a game do you think it's going to be? Yeah, it's the biggest game of the, uh, the season for us. We played them at the start of the season, managed to beat them. But um, now this, this game, um, I think all the fans need to come down and massive support behind us. We played them away, so we play them home now and then uh, hopefully we beat them. And then uh, a couple of games left then and then uh, we can lift our trophy. Do you have anything to say for the fans next week? Um, no, just obviously bring your drums, bring your voices. And bring your A game. Cheers, Dalton. No problems. We are here today with debut player James Green. How are we? Very good, mate. Even better after getting the two points. So we're uh, one step closer to our goal, aren't we? Why did you want to come to Rafford? Uh, I got the opportunity to play uh, regular rugby and, and to play longer minutes than what I've been doing. I've been I've been playing a bit irregularly with dual registration and Castleford and. Even when I have been playing, I've been playing 20, 30 minutes and, and John gave me the opportunity to, to play longer and uh, to help, help this team get where they want to be. Uh, now, uh, out of the lads, you already know who was the standout player today. Uh, I thought Elliot Minchello was outstanding. I thought he got through a ton of work. Uh, I think Ethan Ryan, he, 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 got, he got up there for some opportunities. He's just a little, little bit away from completing them, but I think when that comes off, then we'll, we'll start really putting points on teams. Now, what do you think of the Bradford support? Uh, I was really, I was really impressed um, for for an away game. I think there was more Bradford fans than Unsluck fans today, and uh, I didn't actually know they had a drum actually, so that's a nice surprise. And yeah, they make plenty of noise. You won't, uh, you won't be expecting what it's like at home there then. Uh, no, uh, but I actually debu made my Super League debut at Bradford uh, six years ago. Uh, I got knocked out and suspended, so hopefully it'll go a little bit better than that. But uh, yeah, definitely looking forward to it. Home fans have been turning up in in droves, and it's going to be it's going to be a big game next week. So I'm expecting a big crowd. What do you think your biggest challenge is going to be in League One? Uh, I think uh, me personally or the team. Uh, for me, I think um, just just consistently playing well. Uh, I've not I've not had a regular run of games, so I feel like I had a good game today. It's but for me, it's just taking it one week at a time and backing it up next week. James Jones. Hey mate, thank you. Good to meet you. We are here today with Irish international jockeys. How are we? Uh, yeah, good. Yeah, I'm tired after that. It's very warm today, so I'm tired. I'll sleep well tonight, but yeah, good win. Uh, now you just mentioned the heat. Then um, was that a factor of today's game? It was the same. Yeah, but as I say, it's the same for everyone. So you know, I think we just dealt with it really well and stuck with it at the end and scored a few good tries at the end. So it was good. For you, what is the importance of grassroots rugby? Uh, yeah, it's massive. You know, obviously I'm from London, so. It's, uh, it's not as big down there as it is up here, but hopefully the game can just keep growing um, and yeah, keep producing future stars. That's, that's, the, that's the main thing, isn't it? Uh, now, if you've heard of them, uh, what uh, has been your favourite uh, quotation from um, Mick Gleddell? Mick Gleddell? Favourite comment? Oh, the Ethan's try last year, the trapeze artist, yeah. that was good, and yeah, very good. I can, I can do that, you might want to look back, job. have you? Yeah, I've heard it, yeah, very good. How do you think James Green played today? Yeah, I thought it was awesome. We added a whole new uh, level to our pack, you know, he carried hard and a few big shots, so it's just what we needed and it fired the boys up and yeah, I thought he'd done really well. Uh, now, would you be able to explain why you aren't kicking anymore? It was just because I had the back injury and Chis took over and was doing a great job, so he, uh, John came and spoke to me and said, listen, Chis is doing a great job, which he is, so, um, you know, if Chis isn't playing, so yeah, if Chis isn't playing, then I'll probably, uh, get back on it but for now when he's kicking well then that, that's why. Uh, now what do you think is going to go on for training this week because obviously it's a big game? I don't think we're going to change much you know we're going to we know how big a game it is we're just going to focus on it so 
we'll um, you know, prepare as best we can and get a couple of good training sessions in and hopefully get the two points next week. Are we going to keep a mental factor? Sorry, what? Are we going to keep a mental factor for next week? Uh, yeah, we've been thinking about this one for a while, so it's a massive game and everyone's going to be very fired up for it and hopefully we can take that into the game, yeah? Cheers, Cheers mate. So we are here today with Callum Bossin. How are we? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. good. Uh, what do you how do you feel after putting pen to paper? I'm really excited just to be here for another year. The fans are just amazing, really. And I'm just looking forward to playing in the championship next year when we get promoted. That was a when, wasn't it? Definitely yeah. a when. It's when we get promoted. Uh, now, uh, how do you think the fans came out today? Uh, good, good. You can hear them all the time, no matter what part of the game. Even if we're, like at the start, we were two points down, um, six points down. You can hear them no matter what, anything. So, really well. Uh, now, um, how do you feel um, we're going to have to improve for next year? Next year? Um, to be fair, we've got a, a strong squad. I think it's just building from it, everybody getting used to each other and then just working together as a team, really. Uh, what do you think we could improve on from this game? Um, to be fair, I thought, I thought we were quite good, maybe a few errors in the first 20 minutes, but apart from that, we didn't give them anything and we just grinded through and then just they went out of the game themselves. Uh, are we going to stick with it mentally next week? Yeah, definitely. I think that's a huge, a huge game. I think both of these have been huge games, but that's the one that we need to win. It's the, probably the biggest game of the year so far, so I think we have to win it. What is the big, biggest challenge in rugby league? Uh, just, I'm, I'm not, I'm not sure really. There's, it depends really what position you are. Um, I, would, I would just say fitness is always the biggest problem because you can never be too fit, can you? Cheers, Colin. So we're here today with Josh Flanagan. How are we? I'm good, mate. You? I'm good. Uh, now, how do you feel about uh, for that uh, Birkenshaw player's family? Uh, devastating news, you know. It's devastating news. I didn't know him personally, but uh, obviously Birkenshaw is very close to our hearts. I mean, my little lad plays there. So uh, when I heard the news yesterday, I was devastated, you know, to see a fellow rugby play league player go away from his own to play a game he loves and not return home. It's, it's pretty sad. It's just very sad. Uh, now, uh, how do you feel uh, we played today? I thought we played really well, mate. I thought we did okay. Um, I thought us forward packing that eight were, were really dominant. I thought we played um, to his structures a little bit. So, yeah, we're just a good to get a good, decent performance in because it's look like say, a flying eye at the minute and, uh, you know, full credit to them, they give us a game today. But, uh, obviously, I'm, I'm just pleased that we got the two points. Now, I might be sounding a bit biased here, but um, the referee was uh, making uh, Huns let, um, offside. There was, it was letting them offside. Uh, did you have anything to say to that? I'd, me, me being mouthy on that field, I give the referee all time. But um, do you know we've uh, we've just got to take it. We've, we've got we got to control what we do what we do as a team uh, regarding the referee. Do you know he's got to make his decision what he thinks is right. And um, do you know I think uh, today I thought we were really disciplined and really good performance today for all the team. Would you class it as a team game? Team game today? Yeah, definitely. Do you know? Well, I'm going to be a bit biased as well because I thought our forward pack. Cause I'm a forward, so I like our forward pack. I thought we were really dominant today, so I'm chuffed for us. Uh, now, uh, what is the easiest um, time to get try? When I'm near the line. <laughs> That's it, when I'm near the line, yeah. No, uh, how do you feel after your two tries today? Uh, pretty exhausted. Uh, obviously, I've been out for six weeks with an injury, so it was just good to get some minutes under my belt. And when I that back end of that half there, I'd, I was blowing, I couldn't even catch my lungs at all. I don't think. Um, yeah, I just couldn't get my lungs in that back end there, but uh, you know, I'm just pleased we've got the two points. Cheers, Sean. Cheers, Vicky boy.